Monday's a little different than Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday because my chef does not, it's not here on Sunday, so I gotta make my smoothie. As you get up, make some coffee. And just try to wake my ass up because I like to sleep. So, today I put banana, some frozen blackberry or uh, blueberries and raspberries. What are they called? Blackberries? Um, some oats. Scoop of protein, scoop of super greens, and a bunch of baby spinach. And then a delicious cup of coffee. I'm gonna go to the gym, tonics. Do like a, not an easy workout, but a semi-easy workout, because we're gonna add a grappling session at one o'clock today at a different gym and then they got lifting at 3 p.m. so we're doing three today so I'm trying to get bumped up man we are we, five weeks out this is week five means we got four weeks left of training that means we got no time to waste I would say uh, the training regimen for this fight has been, you know, similar. It's all it's all cardio, cardio based workouts. But I mean, the biggest difference for me this camp is I'm watching a bunch of tape of this guy. Usually, I don't watch a lot of tape. I try to just concentrate on being my best self. But uh, at this level, you know, I don't think uh, I don't think that's necessarily the best approach. Um, you know, we're all creatures of habit. This guy is certainly a creature of habit. He does a lot of, a lot of movements, a lot of steps um, in rhythm. I mean, he doesn't, uh, he's, he blitzes. He runs, his, you know, he walks with his feet forward. Um, so just seeing those things and uh, understanding how I need to get his feet moving, how I need to control his feet control space, uh, that's probably the biggest difference, watching, watching film. I'm gonna try to get a, uh, get a sandwich in real quick, and then we're going to a grappling class, and then after that I got lifting. And after that I'm doing absolutely nothing. So I'm just eating a classic club on a sub from Firehouse. Chef gets here tonight, uh, so I'm on my own Saturday, Sunday, and through lunch on Monday. This is what I usually do on Monday after my first workout, in between my second, in between my next one. Today I'm doing three, so it's gonna suck either way, no matter what. One person coming forward with strikes, one the person evading, getting the takedown, still same thing, immediate get up, okay? Not accepting the bottom. If you get taken down, working right back up to your feet, okay? So defensive fit in. Good, on three, one, two. Right, now if I pull this arm back, I start to get into the shoulder clamp position and he can start generating offense here. So if he changes the angle, I'm just gonna square back up with him and then I can roll. And, el and elbow, okay? So square back up, roll elbow. There ain't nobody to trust, it's like sabotage. It's got me ready to bust, but I can't jeopardize what I've done up to this point. Wow. Three, Team on three, one, two, three. Three! three. I'm going to keep going up, pushing us where 
three. One of two. I feel tired. I feel like I did three workouts, but nice to break the body down, you know, on Monday so I can fucking be hurting all week. I think that's the point. I hope that's the point because that's what's happened. Now I'm going to go wait for dinner because I'm fucking hungry. Take a lot of water. Get some dogs in the war zone. Shit. Today's workout is, uh, again, a lot of footwork. I, I'm just really focused on Justin's footwork. Uh, I think he fights better when he's activating his feet instead of just slugging. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a balanced thing. When Justin is balanced, uh, everything flows with him. So again, a lot, of, a lot of, not just for today, not just for this week, throughout the whole training camp is footwork, footwork, footwork. And that's what I know the best. So fundamentals and make sure he's in great shape because facing Fiziev, uh, he's a gamer. So I expect this to be a fight that is, that is uh, you must be conditioned for. So, you know, conditioning for work and keep him focused. Hello, baby. I, I hate this shit. You got the suit for it. <laughs> Don't you just love these, though, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, the one thing that stands out to me from Justin is he's the truest person to everybody. Like, he's so true to his fans. He doesn't change for anybody. He doesn't change when his parents come into town and they need to act a different way. He doesn't change for the, if his girlfriend's around. He doesn't change, you know, when my parents are around and, you know, he puts on a, a front. Like, he is the same person in front of his fans. Like, he is, he is the realest guy. I know, can't tell a lie, can't, can't tell a fib, uh, won't manipulate something to, to, you know, he's the type of guy who couldn't cheat because he's just not in him to even cheat at checkers. You know, he's that type of guy. And I think that's what stands out the most to me is just, you know, he's probably the realest guy I've ever met. Like, and I, I love that about him. Like he's, if you, if I ever have to ask, ask advice about something, and it could be like a relationship thing, it could be about just, you know, business, and he'd be the guy to ask. Like, he's the guy that's gonna give it to you. He's not gonna butter anything up for you. He'll be there for you, but he, he tells, the, tells it how it should be, and that's such a unique characteristic in this time it, that we're in right now. You know, I think there's a lot of fluff in, the, uh, in our world, and. Man, he's, uh, when you see Justin, that's him. He's, he's one of the realest people I know. Right? I'm not going to be able to just attack that go behind. I'm going to have to get down. And then once I get to this position, my hips are in. I'm just walking nice and slow. Okay, so offensive guy trying to hold that thing a little tighter and make it work. Make it work with three inch hips. Let's 
So uh, we kind of just got right into it today. Did some did some drilling, some technique specific drilling, positional specific drilling, and then uh, wrestled six three minute goes with short rest in between, and then finished up with some real hard drilling at the end to you know, replicate the end of a fight. You know, tired, but still got to execute. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right there, right there, right there. Let's go! You're thinking something, man. Teamwork makes teamwork! Hard work on three, one, two, three, hard, hard work. work, son! We have seared halibut with blistered cherry tomatoes and garlic green beans and mashed potatoes with bone broth in it. Homemade bone broth for the collagen. I wouldn't call it relaxing because it pisses me off! Let's go! That shit was ugly, but we got it. Come on! I did not grow up gaming. That's why I suck so bad. I played a lot in uh, college. We're at uh, High Altitude Martial Arts, sparring day. Uh, man, I'm seeing so much growth in Justin, and mainly in his conditioning. That's, uh, that's the biggest one. I mean, he's always had the skills, but when you're conditioned, you can use your skills at all times. And again, one thing I'm trying to get him to be is he has too much fun. And uh, even if it's fun, it's an, uh, if, if, you're, if you're having fun fighting, fighting's like a, that's like a high when you're having fun. Or if you're fighting mad, it's like a low. So that makes you somewhat emotional. And even though he's having fun, that's still an emotion. That's, a, that's, that's, that's you're having too much fun. So his serious right, his seriousness right now, I think, comes down to the conditioning he's in right now. That's that's where I'm seeing the biggest improvement is he's able to stay active at all times, but also stick to game plans and stick to uh, uh, plans. So that's what I'm seeing right now. And we're five weeks out. And man, I'm. Uh, Today, Saturday, we're just kind of finishing up. It's more of like a shakeout day on Saturdays. Uh, I mean, we'll make adjustments all the time, but uh, through these hard weeks, Saturday is usually the, the easiest of the day. And it's just a lighter workload. It's still tough, but uh, it's the end of the week. I don't want them to pull no muscles. That's where your body, you start to naturally hesitate just because you're so tired through the week. So that's a that's our day to come kind of shake the legs out. And it's our, our sixth day of workouts in a row. So if you, you know, sometimes we'll only do five. You know, there's, there's days where we don't do nothing on a Saturday, but if we do, it's usually a pullback day. And today was just all full work. Kick, way forward, go. Kick, way forward. Good. Keep it. Very hard on the hips. One more. Turn it around. Go. Yes, that was good. That was good. And one more lap. Environment's great. We're having those two training for the same uh, uh, day of a fight because they're, you know, they're like fight buddies and brothers, really. But uh, they challenge each other, and having that both ends, they're both competitive. So if they get to work out next to each other, there's there's a little bit of competitiveness there, and uh, and then they get the joke, uh, joke and goof off after the workout. So having that together just makes it better. It just helps out having someone to fight with and to train with because th this shit's hard and, and cutting weight is hard and, and when you get to you know struggle and, and and go through the sacrifices with someone else it always makes it better. Yeah, he had 92 on that one. You are insane. 